Hello and welcome to a short presentation of Yamaha's new professional audio workstations AW1600 and AW2400. Basically, both of them provide superb audio quality of up to 24-bit recording, but their concept and their features are different. So, which one is the right for you? First, let's have a closer look at the hardware, starting with AW1600. On the back side, it features eight XLR TRS combo jacks to connect line sources and microphones including switchable phantom power. There's even a high z input for direct input of a guitar or bass. Independent monitor and phone's outputs are also provided in addition to a multifunctional output for main stereo outs or auxiliary 1 or 2 output. The AW1600 is small what makes it an ideal tool to record your band in the rehearsal room or make high quality demos or even finished CD recordings. That's why you can find a built-in CDRW drive in front of both machines. On the surface you will find a display and quick navigation keys, for example to address recorder tracks. Look at this, just select an input and the desired recorder track and connect it. That's it and that's easy. The surface also includes large transport keys and a data entry section, including a jog dial. The AW1600 offers a total of 8 tracks for recording and 16 tracks for playback. You also have 8 virtual tracks per physical track to record alternative takes, a total of 144 tracks per song. More than enough, I'd say. The AW1600 comes with a library of over 250 megabytes of pre-recorded drum loops and sound effects. They can be assigned to the four trigger pads underneath the LCD. This is a fast and easy way to create rhythm and backing tracks for your songs. Sounds good! Now together with the song. That's easy. Now let's have a look at the back of the AW2400. Here we can see 8 XLR jacks to connect microphones including phantom power. Alternatively you will find 8 line inputs and inserts for channel 1 and 2. If you need more inputs you can add MY cards here in analog or digital format to expand to a maximum of 16 tracks. Also here, there are independent monitor and phones outputs, a dedicated stereo out and four omni outs for flexible routing of auxes or buses or direct outs. The big and the small machine share the same quality of audio processing. They just differ in terms of quantity and features regarding channels, auxes and recording buses. The maximum of playback tracks here is 16. In the big one, 24. This one offers a total of 28 mixing channels, the big one a total of 48. Inside the AW1600 we will find two internal effect units. The AW2400 offers four of the great SPX style effect generators. In addition to this, both machines offer the Yamaha Pitch Fix algorithm to improve vocal tracks and both machines feature 4-band parametric EQ and dynamics per channel. But the AW2400 offers independent gate and compressor. The same technology can be found in Yamaha's leading studio console DM2000 and now it is available in your project studio. On the AW2400 we can find a big display and extended tactile control, a numeric 10 keypad, a selected channel control module, solo buttons and 100 mm faders. If it comes to serious mixing, you will choose the AW2400 because of its fantastic auto mix function. Just move the faders and the machine will repeat your mix at any time. Look at this.
that's easy. At last, both machines offer computer connectivity through the built-in USB port. Sound files can be exchanged, tracks, samples and data backups can be moved directly from and to the computer. In the computer's file system, the AWs show up as standard external drives. If you work with a standard sequencer, the remote button offers controller functionality for Cubase, Nuendo, Logic, Sonar and Pro Tools. So, which one is yours? Are you a songwriter or do you just need a small mobile recorder? Choose the AW1600. If you are interested in advanced recording, choose the AW2400. It's that simple.